All right, here we go. Odeon is taking on Weevil in Battle City, and it should be a good match. Should be very technical. Both decks are very much set for play strategy. And all right, let's call Odeon into what's. Oh, uh, um, take the HDMI out of the Elgato and then just plug it back in, and it should come on. Cool. All right. Yeah, all right, it's back on. Yeah, um, Elgato cards, very, very cool devices. You can record gameplay from pretty much any console, even old ones, if you have an AV converter, like I do. However, um, occasionally you do get HDMI signal. It, you just won't get a signal for some reason. You just got to take it out and then put it straight back in, and then it's fine. Very good machines, but they do have their little... Uh, they do have their little... Uh, what would you call it? More of a... Uh, more of an oddity here and there. All right, Weevil's played Insect Barrier. He's also played Verdant Sanctuary, and he also played Parasite Parasite face down as well, which... Uh, he's got no other monsters in his hand, though, so he would be playing that as a defense more than for its effect. There's Temple of the Kings from Odeon. So he'll be able to activate... One trap card, the turn it's set. As well, you can also summon Mystical Beast of Circuit. Not Surskit. Surskit's a Pokemon that evolves into Masquerain. I've called, I've said Mystical Beast of Surskit before. All right, there's Needle Wall. Ooh, good card. Every standby phase, Odeon will be able to roll a six-sided die. Weevil's Monster Zones are now one numbered one to six. Sorry, one to five. And yeah, if Odeon rolls the right number, one of Weevil's monsters could be destroyed. Parasite Parasite. What is Weevil going to do with it? You would you almost you have to sacrifice it. You have to. Yeah, alright. Weevil's gone for it as well. Ultimate Insect Level 5 is coming to the field. Now if Weevil can have that on the field until his next standby phase, he will be able to um, get Ultimate Insect Level 7. All right, there goes Venom Serpent. That's the face down that Odeon had. All right, Odeon now three cards in hand. Needlewall rolls a dice, and it was a two. So Weevil's Ultimate Insect Level Five is safe. Oh, Swords of Concealing Light, good card. Um, so Weevil's. Uh, insect, Ultimate Insect level 5 has gone face down. It will stay face down for at least two turns, so Odeon could roll his, uh, could roll his dice correctly and, and knock it out. That'll mean that Weevil won't be able to get level 7 Insect out. Ultimate Insect level 7. And it also means, well, Odeon's got a 3,000 defense now with that uh, Metal Reflect Slime. Does have laser cannon armor. There's Insect Queen as well. Remember, Insect Queen needs a tribute, a uh, tributed insect to be able to attack. And he's also drawn Insect Princess as well. That also isn't a bad card. It works well with Insect Barrier. It works well with Parasite Parasite as well. Remember though, Parasite Parasite, even if you do send it to your opponent, it can be tributed. So, and ooh, Odeon rolls five, so he's missed. Ultimate Insect level 5 again with the dice roll. And, oh, remove trap. Weevil will be able to play that, and he will be able to get rid of Metal Reflect Slime. He could also get rid of Needle Wall. And he's chosen Needle Wall. That's not a bad decision. Remember, if Weevil gets Ultimate Insect level 7, its effect does mean that Odeon will lose 700 attack and defense of all of his monsters on the field. So, even though Metal Reflex Slime is strong, Needle Wall is a very, very random effect which can have a lot of damage on Weevil. So, probably a better move. And, alright, uh, Temple of the Mind's Eye was played, so any battle damage now becomes 1000. There's Arsenal Bug. Weevil now can flick Ultimate Insect level 5 up. He will have to wait another turn, though, to be able to, um, because it needs to be face up. He'll need to reach his standby phase to be able to get 
Ultimate Intake level 7 out. Arsenal Bug was also played face down, so Insect Princess possibly can come to the field. Alright, there's perfectly ultimate Great Moth. And Ultimate Insect level 5 is sent to the graveyard. Ultimate Insect level 7 comes to the field. 2600. And that will put Metal Reflect Slime down to 2300 due to its 700 point drop effect. There's Insect Queen as well. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. Okay, thankfully the game does let you back out of that. Weevil may have miscounted the stars on Insect Queen. It is level 7. You don't want to summon Ultimate Insect level 7. You don't want to tribute Ultimate Insect level 7. Insect Queen comes to the field and... What's... Oh, Negate Attack. Good play from Odeon. Good defense. Um... So if you do that with a magic or a trap card, you activate it, the game will not let you take it back. If you say, I'm going to tribute two monsters, and then it says which monsters, you can take it back. So the game is lenient there. It is not lenient with magic and trap cards if you misclick them. <laughs> All right. Laser Cannon Armor would put Ultimate Insect level seven up to 2,900 if Weevil so desired. So Odeon went with two more face down Spell or traps. There's flying Kamikiri number two. Weevil decides to play that down. Remember, Insect Queen needs a tribute to be able to attack. All right, Metal Reflect Slime is destroyed. Insect Princess now goes on the offensive. And ah, another Metal Reflect Slime. So. That too will also be put down to 2300, so... Odeon though has spared himself 2000 points. Remember Temple of the Mind's Eye is on the field. He would only take 1000 points per direct attack as well. Temple of the Mind's Eye, it is a very good card. Can save you from getting knocked out at times. Also, if you do 50 points of life point damage to your opponent, it will be added to 1000 as well. And same with you, if you take 50 points of life point damage, that 50 becomes 1,000, so it is a it is a risky card as well. Odeon now, another face down spell of trap, and Curse of Darkness is played. So each time a spell card is activated, immediately after it resolves, the player that activated it takes 1,000 damage. Alright, there's Pinch Hopper. When this card you control is sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one insect monster from your hand. Again, that is a very useful card for Weevil. He won't be able to use its effect to get perfectly ultimate Great Moth to the field. Can only do that with Cocoon of Evolution. And oh, Mirror Force! Odeon has sprung Mirror Force and he has just obliterated Weevil's field. Activate the effect of Verdant Sanctuary. Mirror Force is, is a card effect. All right, Verdant Sanctuary. <laughs> Verdant Sanctuary. Flying Kamikiri 2, Verdant Sanctuary. <laughs> okay, we will maybe get a new army back. Although, maybe not as a strong one, but... All right, Flying Kamikiri 1. They will all come to his hand, mind you. They won't come to the field, but... Even so, he will be able to build up his army of insects back up. There's Empress Mantis and Killer Bee, Armored Bee. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of Killer Needle. Um, and due to Pinch Hopper's effect, he can now special summon a monster. You could pull Insect Queen, but remember, you do need to tribute a monster for that to attack. It is two tributes, so... Okay, Weevil's decided to go with Empress Mantis. Even so, there is still that uh, Metal Reflect Slime on the field as well. Insect Queen would need some insects on the field to get to its full potential as well. Alright, Weevil ends his turn. Still, even now, no player, 16 turns in, no player has lost any life points. And Odeon just passes his turn. There's Insect Imitation. 
Tribute one monster, special summon one insect type monster from your deck who is one level higher. So you could tribute a level four, and you could summon in ultimate insect level five. You could tribute Empress Mantis and summon ultimate insect level seven, but it needs to be in the deck. Right now it's in Weevil's graveyard, but it's not a bad card, insect imitation. Alright, draw face for Weevil. There's ultimate insect level one. Okay, Weevil does elect a player. It is zero attack and defense. And he's ended his turn. He's opted to, I guess, wait to see if Odeon will present an attack or not. Temple of the Kings, embodiment of Apophis. is played. It's a 1600. It won't do 1600 points of damage. It will only do 1000 due to uh, Temple of the Mind's Eye. But Odeon does attack. Ultimate Insect level 1 is destroyed. Verdant Sanctuary will activate again. So Weevil will be able to pull a level 1 from his deck. He's got the option of Petite Moth or Leg Hole. He goes with Petite Moth. There is Multiplication of Ants. Offer one insect monster as a tribute to summon two army ant tokens. Alright, Flying Kamakiri number one is played. And Weevil attacks Embodiment of Apophis. So a thousand points off Odeon. They're both at 7,000 now. That 3,000 defense, that Metal Reflex Slime coming in very handy for Odeon. He would have probably lost the match already if he didn't have that on the field. Alright, another face down spell or trap. So Odeon, he's got good defense. Oh, Insect Neglect, that is a good card. If Weevil is attacked, he can, uh, he can remove a monster from his graveyard from play, or an insect from his graveyard from play, and negate the attack. Insect Neglect is a very good card. Alright. Oh, he's gone for it, has he? He's gone for a double tribute. Alright, Insect Queen has come to the field, 2200. That'll get up to 2600, as there are two insects on the field, in Insect Queen itself and Empress Mantis. Laser Cannon Armor would put almost put it above now as well. Multiplication of ants, he could... I wouldn't tribute anything on the field. I would probably go to try and tribute Petite Moth, if anything. It's Weevil's having a bit of a read of it. He's decided and he's turning, maybe strategizing a bit as well. He's got that laser cannon armor still as well. I think he's held that since the start of the duel. Alright, to the end phase. Odeon chose just to pass. Oh, Cocoon of Evolution. Does Weevil go for it? Does he try to summon the perfectly ultimate Great Moth? And he does. He plays Petite Moth in attack mode. And he will be able to use Cocoon of Evolution's effect. I do believe Odeon may have a prompt or something on his screen. There we go. Alright, Cocoon of Evolution is activated and that is equipped to Petite Moth. Does have zero attack, so it is vulnerable when you summon it that way. However, Odeon will have to try and get that off the field. He doesn't want perfectly ultimate Great Moth coming to the field. Although, to be honest, you could probably win the duel quicker. 
by using Insect Queen. If I'm being completely honest, Weevil, if he activated Blazer Cannon Armor, would have been to 3100 there. He may have miscounted the attack points that his Insect Queen would have had. Embodiment of Apophis, another one has come to the field. Odeon with another face down, and he's gone in for an attack. It unfortunately isn't going to work. Insect Neglect is going to come into play, and Weevil has a lot of insects in his graveyard, so he's going to be able to utilize Insect Neglect for a long time. Okay, oh, there's Forest as well. It will cost a thousand points to activate, but now with... Ah, oh, what are you doing? Weevil has elected... No, oh, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. He's still got laser cannon armor in his hand. He... I don't know why he didn't equip it to his Insect Queen. He may have just forgotten about it. But... Oh no, he's looking at it now. And it's just ended his turn. It may also be that he doesn't want to... Um, he doesn't want to clog up the last of his Magic and Trap Card zones. That could be the thought process, because... You can get yourself into a lot of trouble by doing that, clogging up your magic and trap card zones and not leaving one free. That has happened to me before when I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! I've had five cards in there, drawn something good and I haven't been able to play it. Okay, Venom Boa has been summoned. And two Venom counters have just been placed on Insect Queen. Now the Venom counters, I do believe you need to work that with another card to really actually get them to be able to... I think there's Magic or Trap card where uh, enemies that have Venom counters on them can't attack or something like that. Alright, Skull, skull Mark Ladybug, that'll give Weevil a thousand points upon Flip Effect. Still electing against... This is very strange from Weevil. He's decided to attack with Insect Queen as well. What is he... What is he doing? So I'm confused as well. He's just tributed Empress Mantis. He destroyed Venom Ball. It's taken only a thousand points off Odeon. And it's... I'm... Yeah, I'm questioning why as well. Why is Weevil... Why did he just do that? Oh, okay. He can get a monster. He can get his, uh... Insect monster token, which will put... Insect Queen back up to 3,000. But was it necessary to tribute... Empress Mantis? Unless there's a, a strategy that I'm not seeing. But I do believe that was an error from Weevil. I can't quite explain the uh, can't quite explain the decision behind that. Oh, there's Monster Reborn. If <laughs> if that makes any uh... Weevil didn't he didn't have the foresight that Monster Reborn was being played. He's just played it now. I mean, he's got Ultimate Insect level seven. If he would like to bring that back over Empress Mantis. Okay, Insect Queen is now at 3,200. And he has still... not played... Skull... That Lady Skull goes to the graveyard. Alright, so Insect Queen has finally managed to get that Metal Reflex line. He could have done it much earlier, but he's elected not to, which... Alright, now uh, Cobra Jar's been flipped up, so the Venomous Snake token. 
comes up. Whether Weevil could have misclicked or he could have just misread something or just wasn't paying attention or whatever happened, I don't know. But, okay, there's multiplication of ants. And he has tributed that token to summon two more tokens. Both insects, they will get Insect Queen up to 3400. I guess in hindsight, he didn't necessarily need Empress Mantis, but it was still a odd move. Alright, Cocoon of Evolution is up to its fourth turn. That will likely become perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Oh, these there it's D spell, so. Alright, Insect Neglect is gone. Odeon would have to pay a thousand points. Both players still close in proximity to life points. Still, I would say that Weevil probably could have won the duel by now if he played everything perfectly. However, we do have human players, not AI. Now, Odeon's... Oh, Odeon's just played a monster reborn of his own. Weevil's still very much in control. He's lost... Remember, he lost a full field of insects earlier from the effect of Mirror Force. Now, Odeon having a good think, probably having a look through the graveyard to see if there is anything that can help him. He's running out of monsters. And Weevil... Just well in control with a 2800 and a 3400. He's got... He's well in control of power, but... He could have... He could have just about won by now. If he really wanted to. Maybe Weevil's trolling. Odeon is not the sort of player that you want to be trolling. Odeon, alright, let's refresh in our drinks. Odeon is taking his sweet time. Okay, he's decided to go with Venom Boa. I guess it may be the only... Remember, Weevil does still have Insect Barrier on the field. So, Odeon can't even pull back an Insect Monster and, say, like, try and attack with it because... Insect Barrier would actually stop him from being able to attack Weevil's side. There's two more Venom counters. I don't think they're actually going to be able to do anything unless Odeon draws, draws a card that can actually make use of Venom counters. There's Lava Moth. Tribute one Insect Monster, Special Summon one Insect Monster from your deck who is one level higher. So he's got level 4s, and... Oh no! Oh no, it doesn't let you take magic cards back, oh dear! So there must be no level 5s in Weevil's deck. He must have thought he had a level 5 monster stalking around in his deck somewhere. He's activated Insect Imitation, and he's had to destroy Cocoon of Evolution. It was the only one that Insect Imitation could go with. Oh, that's... Oh, that's tragic. He's, bo he's botched it. He's absolutely butchered that. He's got Bladefly to the field, which, to be honest, does give an, another boost to um, Ultimate Insect Level 7. Insect Queen's an Earth-type, so it doesn't get that boost from Bladefly, but... Although now he has three attacking monsters, and now he can get two of them off the field and get a direct attack. Was that intentional? Was it? Okay, maybe... He would have still had to wait two more turns to get perfectly ultimate Great Moth. He's just... Uh, attributed a token so he could get Insect Queen to attack. And then done a thousand points of direct damage. If he put his other token to attack mode, he could have made another attack there as well, but he elected not to. He is running a bit low on life points, so that I can understand just in case Odeon did pull something else to the field and destroyed that token at only 300 attack. Weevil, he is running a little bit low on life points. He only he can only take battle damage three times. 
or only twice on a third time he would lose so oh metal reflect slime but with 3300 with that ultimate insect level 7 maybe it was intentional maybe that's why Weevil got rid of his cocoon of evolution so he could have another monster to attack with that's all I can think of the reason it could have it looked like he butchered it because it, he was trying to press back I didn't hear a scream from across the room but Alright, to the battle phase. Ultimate Insect level 7. Destroys Metal Reflect Slime. And, ooh, if Odeon can't block all these attacks, he tributes his token. I mean, if it wasn't for Temple of the Mind's Eye, Odeon would have lost by now anyway. He attacks with the token, and it looks like this one... Well, that really says a lot, that duel. It was a great duel overall but I mean Weevil butchered a few moves and still actually got the win which says a lot about Weevil's insect deck insect decks are really really good on this so Weevil picks up the first win and we will go into match number two Odeon will have to win two in a row now maybe Weevil's got all the uh, all the first match jitters and mistakes out but I mean they were minor mistakes I guess but Still, everyone butchers every now and then. That was pretty funny, though. Insect imitation, he had to get rid of his cocoon of evolution. I don't think it was intentional because he was hitting back. You could see it on the screen with it blinking, but... It's all right. Human players, we all, we're all all going to make errors here and there. All right. Weevil's perspective this time. Hang on, didn't we do Weevil's Perspective last time? We did. We definitely did. I, We have not flipped... Ah, oh, it's fine. We'll just continue on. Okay, there's Spider Egg. Wait, hang on, that's confusing. Why, why are we from Weevil's Perspective? I haven't switched anything on my s on my screen. Sorry, do ah uh, no, it's it's okay. It, it doesn't really matter that much if we're not watching Odeon's perspective. Ah, oh, okay, got you. Okay, um, what just happened? Weevil played uh, Odeon played Curse of is that Curse of Anubis? I think so. Um, okay, no, uh, what happened is um, they swapped the switches around on the switch dock. Uh, the switch dock is into my Elgato, so I'm getting that one switch. But uh, they changed them around on the dock because one of the batteries on the switches was running out. That's why um, that other switch has pulled up Weevil's account. That's why Weevil's back on, back on here. That makes sense. Okay, I, I get it now. No, if one of the switch batteries, uh, we've only got one switch dock. So if one of the switches, whichever switch is, um, that's why you've got Cameron down in that corner instead of respawn now. Um, if one of the switch docks um, is running out of battery, I have to, um, we just swap them around. So wh whichever one Cameron or respawn is in the bottom left corner depends on which switch has the most battery at that time. So... Alright, who have we got now? Wandering Mummy has just activated its effect to go back face down. Alright, Ultimate Insect Level 5 activates its effect. Ultimate Insect Level 7 has come to the field after, or in turn number 4. To be honest, I like watching from Weevil's perspective. I really, really like Weevil's... Oh, remove trap! I didn't spot that at first. Judgment of a new is it yeah judgment of no embodiment of apophis is destroyed i'm getting all the cards mixed up right now that i my mind was warped because i was trying to figure out how we got weevil's perspective again but yes the switches were flipped due to battery dude the batteries on nintendo switches they go down quick well actually it does on it does on cameron's profile one that switch is a bit older though so i'm guessing the internal battery may have aged a bit more all right, turn change. Let's try focus now. Great Moth. Well, 
We all know what happened in the last duel. We will accidentally tributed it, but with Ultimate Insect level 7 on the floor already, there goes Cobra Jar. So that will be able to flip up and get a Poisonous Snake token to the field. Ultimate Insect level 7 is also reducing all of Odeon's monsters by 700. Bro, Ultimate Insect level 7 is a brutal card. It, it's strong and it reduces all of the insects Oh, sorry, it reduces all of the opponent's monsters by 700, which is strong. Like, it's a good effect. Alright, there's Howling Insect. So, if Odeon wins this, we will go from his perspective in the next one. Otherwise, we will just have to watch Weevil. Which is fine. Like... When I get further into this series, we finish Duelist Kingdom and Battle City, and we go into GX and the other little arcs that happened in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. When we get to the point where I'm building like the Ultimate Deck series, which I am starting to discover, did a few exhibitions a few days ago as well with... Um, we do that Buster Blader deck and uh, super heavy monsters as well. We, we saw a few. I would really, really enjoy putting together the Ultimate Insect deck. Because like these Insect cards are really, really cool. Why is he attacked? Okay, have I missed something? Oh. Magical Arm Shield was... Activate it. Activate the effect of Howling Insect. Okay, Weevil still gets to activate. Effect. Okay, Flying Kamikiri number one is coming to the field. And that Poisonous Snake token is still there, which is now destroyed. That'll do 500 points of damage to Weevil. What was I saying before? Yeah, Ultimate Insect Deck. I would love to put together like the Ultimate Insect Deck because the Insect Deck that Weevil's got now is really, really good. Oh, there's Monster Reborn. Odeon may be playing that because he has to more than anything. He's well, he's bringing back Ultimate Insect Level Five. That will get a uh, that will get a Strength Drop as well. I mean, Weevil does have that insect armor with the laser cannon. That's a 700 pointer as well, that one. But yes, um, it's a shame that I only get 32 deck spots. I mean, when the Duelist Kingdom season finishes, and that should be a little bit earlier, that should finish earlier than the Battle City season, I might be able to free up 16 slots and I might be able to make some real world starter decks and structure decks again to have a little bit of a series with them. Then when the Battle City one ends, I'll delete all those decks and then we can start up maybe like Raphael and Valon and uh, Darts and have some duels with them. Rebecca Hawkins as well, we can do some duels and then go into the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series as well. Okay, there's insect imitation again. Use at your own risk, Weevil. Use at your own risk. You do have a level 2 on the field. You got a level 7, so I don't think Weevil's got any level 8 monsters in his deck. Or does he have Metal Armored Bug? No, I think I took that out. Alright. Petite Moth comes to the field. It's gone to zero. Oh, Bladefly. Bladefly reduces um, earth monsters. Okay, Insect Imitation is activated. This time Petite Moth goes to the graveyard. He'll be able to pull a level 2 Insect from his deck. You can have Drillbug or Parasite Parasite. Neither one is useful. <laughs> oh boy. It will still be 700 attack points, so it will still do a little bit of damage. And Weevil activates Insect Armor with the Laser Cannon. And has stuck it onto Bladefly. That goes up to 1800. And with 
1800 attack, that would be strong enough to get rid of most of Odeon's defenses. There goes Venom Bower again. Odeon may have drawn a little bit of an average hand, so we may be actually getting more entertainment watching from Weevil's perspective this time anyway. Uh, there goes Drillbug. Uh, 2100 down for Odeon now. He's, uh, yeah, he's in trouble now. Parasite Parasite will go to the top of Weevil's deck, which... That is the effect of drill bug. Does uh, damage to your opponent. You can put Parasite Parasite to the top of the deck. That way you can try and get it over to your opponent, but... Oh, Odeon's straight at the end phase. He's got no monsters to play by the look of it. There's Parasite Parasite. Oh, okay, no, there was a Metal Reflect Slime, but that will be reduced by 700. That is... If you get Ultimate Insect to the field, or level 7 Ultimate Insect to the field early on, my word, that does damage. That is so hard to get over because it's getting 700 points off of all of the monsters you place on the field. Metal Reflect Slime, and it looks like we're going to see a very quick match for the second one. It's only in the 12th turn, considering what we got in the last duel. Jeez, Weevil played far from perfect that whole, that whole thing, and he still managed to beat Odeon. Weevil is looking like a real contender to do very well throughout the series. I think he lost in the first round of the, of the Battle City Cup as well. Anyway, this one is done. I have exhausted myself. I could barely even call what was happening at some points. Um, what is it now? It is just clocked over. Yeah, I might be a little bit late in getting these ones out today, I think, given that time is getting on. But I will go ahead and get these produced. Hope you enjoyed the duels today. There was a Duelist Kingdom one with Mako and Mokuba as well. Uh, let's pull up the tournaments. And let's see what's coming up next. So, Battle City Season 2024. Weevil defeated Odeon. Still a good match, though. Odeon's deck puts on really good shows. We've got Mako against Loomis and Umbra. Loomis and Umbra's deck is very, very cool. And so is Mako's. Hopefully we see uh, Lumeria, the Forgotten City. I want to see Lumeria, the Forgotten City, on the field again. I like Lumeria, the Forgotten City. It's a cool card. It looks very cool. looks like Atlantis. Anyway, I've talked enough, and my brain's starting to, uh, starting to go into that mode where it starts going on autopilot, so I'm going to go get that produced. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe, keep well, farewell.